Today's topic is microorganism, isn't it, Kemi? Tell us about microorganisms, Kemi. Micro means tiny and organisms mean living things. So microorganisms are tiny living things. Microorganisms are found in the air, water, food, soil, and in the human body. We need to use the microscope to see microorganisms. Microorganisms exist in different shapes and sizes. Tell us about the types of microorganisms, Kami. There are four types of microorganisms. They are bacteria, virus, fungi, and protozoa. Let's look at bacteria. They exist in various forms. Most bacteria can be classified according to their shapes. Bacteria can be found everywhere. They live in living things too. Bacteria can reproduce very fast under a suitable temperature and with enough water and food. Bacteria are most active in places that are warm, dark, moist and dirty. Most kinds of bacteria are harmless and many are even helpful. However, some kinds of bacteria can be dangerous. They can cause diseases such as diarrhea and sore throat. Bacteria which cause diseases are called germs. Next is virus, isn't it, Kami? Yes, Bati, virus. Viruses are the smallest microorganisms. They can only be seen using the most powerful microscope. Viruses can infect plants, animals, humans and even bacteria. Colds and flu are caused by viruses. Viruses are responsible for many serious and deadly diseases like AIDS. Next is protozoa. Protozoa are microorganisms that are larger than viruses and bacteria. Protozoa are aquatic organisms. They can be found in places like ponds, rivers, swamps, and even body fluids. Protozoa can make food or feed from the cell of living organisms. Protozoa can be harmless or harmful. Malaria is one disease caused by a type of protozoa. Next is fungi. Fungi are the largest of the four types of organisms. They live in soil, litter, on other organisms, and sometimes on our food. Fungi reproduce from spores. Mushroom, moles and yeast are examples of fungi. Some fungi like yeast are so small that we need the help of a microscope to see them. Like bacteria, most fungi are harmless and many are helpful. However, certain fungi can cause diseases. Given the basic needs and environment, microorganisms can carry out life processes such as breathing, growing, and moving. Yeast is an example of fungi. Yeast exists all around us, in soil, on plants, and even in the air. Let's do a simple experiment using yeast to see how organisms breathe. First, we need flour, margarine, sugar, water, and yeast.
Mix all the ingredients and knead the mixture into a dough. Having done that, put the dough into a baking tin and leave it for half an hour. Let's look at the dough again. The dough has risen. You see, yeast feeds on the starch in the flour, producing carbon dioxide when it breathes. The carbon dioxide causes the dough to expand and rise. Amazing, isn't it? Bake the dough in a hot oven and we get a loaf of bread. Microorganisms grow to survive. They need food, water, a suitable temperature, oxygen, and light to grow. Moles grow on moist bread. It gets its nutrients when the bread decay. It causes the bread to turn bad. Bread mold grows in a moist, warm, and airy environment. Other examples of food that can get moldy or spoiled due to microorganisms are oranges and rice. Let's do another simple experiment to investigate the growth of microorganisms. First, take a slice of bread. Sprinkle some water onto the surface of the bread. Put the bread in a plastic bag and tie it up with a piece of rubber band. Place the plastic bag in a warm place for a few days. Greenish blue patches are seen on the surface of the bread. These greenish blue patches are microorganisms. We can conclude that microorganisms grow when there is food and the surrounding conditions are suitable. Microorganisms move on their own depending on where they live. We can see the movement of microorganisms such as protozoa which live in water. The movement of microorganisms can be seen using a microscope. Most aquatic microorganisms move by whisking their tails rapidly in water. Microorganisms can be useful and harmful. Useful organisms can be used in making food. Harmful organisms cause diseases. Some microorganisms are widely used in making food.
Yeast, like fungi, makes bread dough rise and the bread becomes fluffy. Other fungi are used in making soy sauce and tempeh. Some bacteria turn milk into cheese. Some bacteria also turn milk into yogurt. Yeast is used in making tapai. Tapai is a traditional food which is produced by the fermentation of glutinous rice or tapioca. Bacteria that live in soil help to break down the remains of dead organisms. It helps in fertilizing soils for plants to grow. Not all bacteria are useful. Some bacteria are harmful to us. Harmful microorganisms include certain bacteria, virus, fungi, and protozoa. These microorganisms can cause illnesses, food poisoning, food to turn bad, tooth decay. Food poisoning is caused by eating food that is infected by harmful microorganisms. Food poisoning can lead to stomach upset, diarrhea, and vomiting. Pores of microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi in the air which land on our food make food turn bad. Bacteria and fungi feed on the nutrients in food and their waste products like toxin causes food to smell and taste bad. Tooth decay is also caused by microorganisms. Food in our mouth and on the surface of our teeth encourages the growth of bacteria. The activity of these bacteria causes tooth decay. Let's look at the table to see the diseases caused by microorganisms. Microorganisms, bacteria, diseases, cholera, conjunctivitis, mumps, virus, diseases, AIDS, flu, cough, measles, and chickenpox, fungi, diseases, ringworm, antinia, protozoa, diseases, malaria, Diseases caused by microorganisms can spread from one person to another. These are contagious diseases. A contagious disease can spread through the air, food, or water and also through direct contact. Microorganisms are very small and light. When an infected person sneezes or cough, these microorganisms are released into the air. Healthy people may inhale these microorganisms and get infected. An example of a disease that can spread this way is flu. Direct contact with a sick person can cause the microorganisms to spread and cause infection. Measles can spread from one person to another by direct contact. We can catch measles just by shaking hands with a friend who has measles. The sharing of things or personal items such as towels may lead to the spread of diseases caused by fungi like ringworm and tinea. Some diseases spread when people drink water containing harmful microorganisms. Cholera caused by a bacterium can spread this way. Other diseases spread when people eat food containing harmful microorganisms.
food which is not covered is exposed to harmful microorganisms. If a person eats the food, he will get infected. Food can be infected if it is prepared or handled in an unclean way. For example, handling food with dirty hands. Some people believe that prevention is better than cure. Diseases caused by microorganisms can be prevented by the following methods. Washing hands. Wash your hands with soap and water after you touch an animal, after using the toilet, and before you handle or eat food. Boiling water. Most microorganisms die under high temperature. Therefore, all food and drinks must be cooked or boiled thoroughly. Covering mouth People around you need to stay well. Use a tissue to cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. Covering wounds If you hurt yourself, cover your wound. This can prevent the wound from being infected by harmful microorganisms. Quarantine. Put patients with contagious diseases under quarantine. This can help to prevent the spread of diseases. We can also prevent the spread of diseases by washing fresh fruits and vegetables before eating them. Store and cook food properly to help you avoid from getting contagious diseases. We have come to the end of the program. Till next time, thank you.